Uh, so we saw this on Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We looked forward to this for quite a while. Oh, yeah. Sight and Sounds yeah. film Number of the year. Number of the year last year. Um, so... So what happened? <laughs> yeah, um, I, 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 I really don't know because I mean, it, well, Sight and Sound did give it the best film of last year, so you know, no pressure at all. Notoriously Sight uh-huh. and Sound, though. Yeah, I'm, not I'll, Sight and Sound. Yeah, I know. I'm going to cut a bit of slack. Now, there. I do, I do, I am really interested in that era of sort of feudal China and feudal <coughs> Japan and that sort of whole era in the Ming Dynasty. You know, it is set in the ninth century, and basically, it's a female assassin who has been ordered by to take out a nobleman that she was previously engaged to by her sort of overseer I suppose that's the best way to say it however her family are involved in this whole thing and suddenly it becomes a lot more complex and that is essentially all I can really sum up and we know that now yeah yeah. having seen the film and then read about it yeah because it's it's not a plot that is told to you. It you figure it, it out yourself. It doesn't hold your hand at all. No, no, yeah. it's it's very sort of lax in in its storytelling. It, it's very sort of he lets he, he plays it out as he wants it to. Your your hand is not held. You have to figure it out all for yourself. So it's 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 good in that fact. I mean, I think that for me it is just it's stunningly beautiful. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's beautiful in, in every way. I mean, there's, there's, I think there's a screen save for every second for me. I mean, I I think in terms of martial arts films as well because this is a martial arts film as you expect from the title for. But not as assassin. much. Not as much as the trailer. Oh no, not as though. much as the Taylor suggests, but you, you really do get it. I mean, it's really well choreographed in the few fight scenes that there are, and it's really good to see the visual style is fantastic. Like I say, and oh, he, he is the name, Joe. <laughs> he is the name I've been dreading to pronounce. Go on then. Hu Hiao Shen? Nope. 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 I've butchered that. Hao Shai Shen. Hao Shai, Hao Shai Shen. Shen. Yeah. Uh-huh. See, that, that one I can't be forgiven mm. for, surely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's, he's done really well there because, uh, I mean, what, a big reason why I liked it as well because you get to see the assassin, the titly assassin, is like the girl. And a girl walks on in light in the way yeah. that she is sort of like a wraith. She's sort of hidden in darkness and hidden behind blankets and shadows. She is really just the definition of an assassin, you know, hiding in the shadows, waiting for the perfect moment to pounce. And it's a really, I mean, it's a sort of tempered performance. But, yeah. you know, it's it's really it's really well done by, by the lead actor, Kishi. Who's in yeah. her late 30s. Hmm. Really? I did, did not think that. Didn't, didn't get that impression from seeing the film anyway. Well, I mean, That's yeah. Just but, me. but, I mean, I think it's just really... You, you you get to see just I mean, she 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 sort of empathizes with herself and sort of the plight of an assassin if you can call it that and that sort of fits in with the whole visual style which is just beautifully done I mean the soundtrack as well I mean there's some bagpipes in there mm-hmm. which I was not expecting I suppose that's I mean is that Chinese culture do they have bagpipes in Chinese culture not sure I mean, no, I'm not, not really, really well really, I, mean, really I was not I was not culture. expecting yeah but I mean but yeah I mean yeah, I can absolutely see why Sight and Sound ranked it as their number one film of last year because it is so visually stunning Might it's really a... striking it's so different you know yeah. it's different from everything else and it's a story that does not tell you a lot more a lot more movement compared to his yeah. earlier films I, th- I think thrilling visuals is the best way to put it yeah. but it does have a sort of I guess the way, I guess it's sort of a glacial pace that's the best way to put it think, because, of, a, yeah. think of a Moza film where the shots guy, the shots themselves uh-huh. are static and the guy like Setting yeah. a move, but the guide your eye more yeah. than more than cutting uh-huh. in everything in the frame. Yeah. Basically, that's the piece takes a time to tell the story, but it's worth it in the end. Yeah, Joe, you're you're more familiar with how Shen yeah. you've been trying to catch up. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I've been trying to go through his filmography, and uh, yeah, I, I knew since watching these first like first kind of films and watching them later on, uh, you do more more than anything Taiwanese filmmakers, you do need to watch them repeatedly because that like is a like you were saying no hand holding at no. all Mm-mm. they're just if, if you lose one little, i do like that sometimes if, if you lose one little strand of like a character or a plot point then like just i'm sorry it's going to continue there's nothing like that and uh yeah I, I, it's a shame i couldn't uh watch the last bit of his filmography before this one because mm. it, it was such a jump from seeing the likes of uh goodbye seth goodbye where there is some slight movement to suddenly this where there's compared to like his first films where the city of sadness and everything where literally just a static camera mm. telephoto lens and boom that's how you get yeah. but yeah re- really enjoyed it and I, re- I can't wait to see it again I think it's the case of we need to watch it again yeah it's most, yeah. Certainly. Mm-hmm. Uh, most certainly it's through Studio Canal so we can probably expect a Blu-ray yeah, which is good and it will look, it'll look a beautiful Blu-ray too and uh, if you fancy the sound of the assassin it's, it's hard to sell it's going to be a hard yeah. sell oh, yeah, yeah. I think but you go off the back of the sort of plaudits it has and just take their word for it, take our word for it. I think if you is... want to see something that is nothing like you'll see at the cinema this year, and that is a massive achievement with all the extreme films, even just this month, the films that have come out, then you need to see this. It's on Sunday afternoon at the Tyneside. Uh, there's probably more screenings throughout the week, but I know it's on Sunday. Mm. Uh, check the Tyneside Cinema website for more details. The Assassin. Go see it. Go see it. Check it. Uh, go watch. Get, get it. Watch, watch, watch people. Get it. Watch people. Get it. Watch people.